Hey, Matt from Roland here to talk to you about an exciting new feature for DJs called TR Sync. If you're familiar with Roland's DJ controllers, you'll know that each one has a built-in TR drum machine and sequencer, which contain many of the most classic Roland drum sounds, fully syncable with your Serato set. Roland and Serato have now developed a method for adding our standalone TR drum machines to any Serato DJ Pro setup. This means if you already own a third-party Serato controller or play on a Serato DVS vinyl setup, you too can now sync up our legendary TR drum sounds seamlessly with your set for re-drumming, remixing, flipping genres, transitions, and other new school performance possibilities. TR Sync is a free feature upgrade for compatible TR drum machines, which include the TR08, TR09, TR8, and TR8S. To set up TR Sync, download the TR device driver and latest system program from our product page. Install the driver onto your laptop and follow the system program instructions, also known as firmware, on how to update your TR. Then simply connect your Roland TR drum machine to your laptop via USB cable. You'll need to connect the audio outputs into a channel on your DJ mixer or controller or into a sub mixer. After you launch Serato DJ Pro, you'll want to activate sync in your setup menu. You have two options, simple sync and smart sync. Each sync mode operates slightly differently, but ultimately does the same thing. If you want to use a Serato DVS final setup with TR Sync or unquantized classic tracks, we recommend using Smart Sync mode. For more information on Simple and Smart Sync, refer to your Serato DJ Pro manual. Next up, you'll want to activate TR Sync on your drum machine. This is done slightly differently on each machine. On the TR08, hold down the menu button and turn the Find Value knob toward the right. On the TR09, hold down the Enter Total Accent button and turn the Tempo knob toward the right. On the TR8, hold the tap button and turn the tempo knob toward the right. And on the TR8S, hold down the mute button and turn the tempo knob toward the right. Now press play on your Serato deck, and when you're ready, start the TR on the first beat of the bar. If you drop it slightly off beat, press the sync button on Serato to tighten up the timing. You can now change the tempo on any device and the BPM of any other sync device will follow. Beat gridding. Now listen, this is important. Key to any Serato Sync setup is having tracks with beat grids set up properly. If you don't know what these are, beat grids overlay your song and mark the bars and beats so that songs and devices can be synced together in time. To set the beat grid of your song, unplug your Serato device and analyze your files in offline mode, ensuring set beat grid slash BPM is selected in the analysis settings. Now when you load the song onto the deck, you will see the beat grid appear on top of the waveform. If you don't see this, make sure you've turned Sync on in your DJ Preferences tab in the Setup screen, as well as checking the Snap to Beat Grid box. There will be occasions that the Beat Grid is positioned incorrectly over the track. Use Beat Grid Edit Mode to correct this. For laying in Beat Grids on unquantized music, set individual Beat Warp Markers on the first beat of every bar. These will appear as a red line and should line up visually with the transient at the beginning of the bar. If you notice any latency or lag in the Beat Sync, Make sure to check the MIDI clock delay compensation panel and adjust the timing in the manual setting, or leave automatic selected if the timing is correct. So now you know how to set up your TR Sync system. Flip genres, beef up classic tracks, remix and transition between songs in new ways. Anyone can play the next big track, how many DJs can make it their own?